Everyone wants loads of iron in their Minecraft survival world. Hoppers, minecarts, rails, weapons and tools, armor, and loads of other stuff too. But mining it takes up your building time. So I'm gonna show you how to get loads of this by getting loads of these, sorry Mr. G, by having one of these, let's do it. According to Mojang, on average, there are 77 blocks of iron ore in every chunk of your Minecraft survival world. So, assuming average caves, mining from minus 60 to ground level means digging out around 25,000 blocks to get your ore. That's 100 iron picks, which is 300 iron. So, the better way is to farm it. This quad iron farm looks cool and will get you loads of iron while you do other stuff whatever that is. So let's crack on with it. And I think I'm gonna use this island in the middle of this lake. Now, in order to get your iron golems to spawn in your farm, there are five rules that all need to be ticked. A villager can spawn a golem on a valid spawn block anywhere within 16 blocks, north, south, east, or west of it, or six blocks up and down. A valid spawn block is any solid block with no more than one block of water over it and no solid block two blocks above. If a villager sees a live golem within 16 blocks in any direction in the last 30 seconds, no new golem will spawn. A scan for golems occurs every 10 seconds. There must be at least three panicking villagers or five gossiping villagers that have slept to spawn in a golem. So we need to make sure we cater for that when we think about the design of our iron farm. Now, full disclosure, this is gonna be a Java farm because bedrock works in a little bit more of a funky way. To spawn a golem in bedrock, you need 20 beds, 20 workstations, and 20 villagers. There is a tutorial for bedrock iron farm in the description and up on the screen that works brilliantly go and try that if you're bedrock this one's java let's go but what i'm gonna do first is flatten out this island so as i can build the farm on it my farm area is now flat and i can start to build i've put four six by six boxes in each corner and they are all 16 blocks apart from each other and the first thing we're going to do is build up a bit of structure i've placed this little four by four square right in the middle and i'm going to set down two double chests one there and one on top of it using shift click then i'm going to come around the back i'm going to feed in a hopper into the back of that one hop it into the back of that one and then more hoppers going in there. So anything landing on these hoppers is gonna go down into that hopper first, fill that chest and then eventually fill the top chest. And I need to make some channels that feed into these hoppers. But what's important is that they're not spawnable. So I'm gonna use glass. Although you could use other non-spawnable blocks. Leaves are really good too. So I'm gonna come 90 degrees from the chest and I'm gonna place out a row of 10 blocks that is too wide on both sides. And at the ends, I'm gonna place four more too wide channels that are seven blocks long. And then from the edge, I'm gonna create another row of blocks that goes all the way across those chests right to the other side. And then I'm gonna do it again again at the back as well. I've then built up one side of these seven long channels and across all of them, I've put a slab. And now we can build up the outer structure of the farm. And I'm gonna be honest, you don't have to do this bit. This is decorative, but it might look a bit weird if you don't, it's up to you. Along all four of these sides that join up the squares, I'm gonna use a combination of stone, stone bricks, andesite, mossy cobble, and cobblestone, plus maybe some other blocks as well to create a stone wall. I've made the wall seven blocks high and I've created a gradient from the bottom to the top. The mossy blocks and the harsh cobblestone towards the bottom and the softer andesite and stone stone blocks towards the top. And I've done that on all four sides, which means the walls form the outer edge of these channels. And I've brought our walls one block into this six by six square on the floor. We now need to switch out these four blocks here with some packed ice. So I'm just gonna place packed ice there. I'm gonna to come to this side place some packed ice there as well. Now, packed ice is spawnable for iron golems, so we are gonna need to put a block above it to stop the iron golems from spawning on there, but we need to do that because the water channel will only reach two blocks away from those hoppers, so we need to put the ice on there to make sure things speed past it. So I'm putting a two by two by two cube on top of these ice blocks, and then I'm gonna place some slabs on top of those. I've used stone bricks, but you could use whatever you want, as long as you are using a solid block for it and not a transparent block. And then we're gonna build up the towers in the corner. I'm gonna create a four by four square like this that overlaps the walls ever so slightly. You can see it just comes one out on that side and two out on this side. And I'm gonna build this up so as it's six high. So as it looks like that. I'm also placing slabs down inside this four by four tower so they're not spawnable. And I'm gonna repeat it on all four corners. And then using an upside down and a side step, I'm gonna to come to the outer corner. So I place four, one there, one there, one there, and one there, and then I'm gonna to come to the side and place one on the outside of that, 
and one on the outside of that. I'm not gonna worry about the inside, we're gonna do something else with that. And I'm gonna repeat that on all the other corners as well. I've also placed a hole in the front of one of those walls to give us an entrance. With the bottom of the portcullis just poking out there and the holes in the floor where the portcullis goes. And those holes are just made by using a dispenser pointing upwards. These four corners are crying out for four pods. We're gonna do a quad iron farm, which means we need quad pods. I'm just gonna jump over to a flat world to show you how to make it. It'll be a lot clearer that way. I've come to do it in a flat world because it's gonna be easier for you to see. So the first thing we're gonna do is build a six by six square out of any block you would like to build it out of. I'm just using stone because it's in keeping with the rest of the build. And I'm then gonna place four beds, one, two, three, and four. So there's a row of stone all the way around it like a horseshoe. Now, this will work with three, but I want my square to be six by six, which means I need it four by four in the middle. And the symmetry of having four beds is better than the symmetry of having three beds. It's up to you. If you wanna put three beds in there, you go for your life. You don't even need four villagers, although I'd put four villagers in, why not? At the foot of all four beds, you want to place yourself a slab. And then at the end one right here, pop out that and place a slab at the bottom so you've got kind of an indent at the end of that you're then going to come along and you are going to build one two blocks right there you're going to get stairs you're going to place stairs right there and then you're going to place another two blocks like that we're then going to run a row of blocks all the way around the outside although we will miss out this block just by that indented slab we put in a moment ago. We're then gonna put a second layer all the way around the top of that. Again, leave a hole above that gap you left before. We're then gonna place an upside down step above that hole, a solid block above that step that we put in before, and then we're gonna bring it up one more level on top of every block that we've got here. So you should have a box that looks a little bit like that with a hole in the top that looks like that and then cover the whole lot up with some slabs. So you've got a four by six box with a slab roof and a little door in the side. And because of the style of walls that we've got in our farm, I've also textured this up with a bit of andesite and the odd stone brick too. And we need to put one of these on top of each of the four by four columns in the corners of our farm. But before you do that, we need to create the kill chamber four times. And let me explain why. Because of the villager search in every 10 seconds, rule we don't want the golems to slowly travel away from the pods down this channel and into the middle we need to kill them as fast as possible and then let their drops do the traveling now I agree you could just drop them down a deep hole more than six blocks deep and let them die at their leisure absolutely you could do that that's just not the design of this farm if you want to adapt it that way you go for your life what we're gonna do is build four small kill chambers on the side of each pod we've got a three by two platform that goes at the top of the wall right against the pod above the glass so make sure you do it on the above the glass side and not on this side here. If you do it on this side here, it's gonna go horribly wrong. We're then gonna place a wall on both sides exactly like that. We're gonna place two temporary blocks there and we're gonna put two gates and get rid of the temporary blocks. Open the gate so you don't have to do it later. You're then gonna get a wall and you're gonna place one, two, three, and four. And on the other side, one, two, three, and four. And you're gonna make that too high. Join up those walls with glass blocks right at the front and then get a sign and place a sign there, there, and also there. Then place a lava bucket against that glass block right there and a water bucket down on the floor in the opposite corner so the water flows towards that lava. Then get two more pieces of glass and pop them at the end of that channel underneath and place a couple of slabs on top just so as it's consistent. We can then place right here at the end a temporary fence and a temporary fence and then a permanent fence permanent fence permanent fence permanent fence just like that get rid of your two temporary fences open up your permanent fences so the water will flow and then pop water on the end of that channel so as it flows all the way down like that. Then repeat that in all four corners. So it should end up looking like that. We're then gonna place one more block on the outer edge of that so as it's under the outside wall. And then we're gonna get some stairs and we're gonna create a crenellation all the way across. Then come to your central channel and place a water bucket there and a water bucket there so as it flows all the way down to, but not over the ice, on both sides. So if anything were to fall into these pods, for example, the drops from a dead golem, they would be washed all the way down across our channel and into our chests, waiting for us down at the bottom here. There they are, two there, 
and two there. Now, you could just bring your villagers in now, but what I want to do is decorate it up just a little bit. I want to add detail to the walls, give it a little bit more depth, put some bushes in, that kind of thing. I'll be back when I've done it. And this is what I've ended up with. I've got bushes all the way around. I've got some thicknesses in the walls to give extra support. I've lifted the crenellation next to those cobblestone walls to hide it up a little bit, and I'm ready to get my villagers in now. Getting villagers in is dead simple. Crate steps up to the top of your farm, bring the villagers close using a mine car or a boat, and they will walk up the steps to get to the beds when it's night time. I've done a couple of tutorials on how to do this. I'll link them in the description below. And we've got villagers in every pod. You don't need four. You could just get away with three, but I've got four in there anyway, because we've got four beds. And if you haven't used the get up the stairs to your bed villager technique, then you need to make sure these villagers have slept. They only need to have slept for literally a second, but if they've not got into a bed, this farm won't work. So do make sure that happens. But it shouldn't be a problem because you've got to get yourself a zombie anyway. And again, you want to transport your zombie up in a mine car. In fact, the zombie's going to stay in the minecart for the entirety of the rest of its life. There are links to video tutorials on how to do that in the description below if you're not sure. For the sake of the tutorial, I'm going to do it with an egg. Zombie on there, flip the switch and off it goes. Inside your farm, those villagers are going to start to get really, really grumpy and pretty quickly you'll get an iron golem spawn inside here as soon as they start to realise he's there. And you can see golems are already spawning in that one pod. Make sure you name tag your zombie. I quite like that name. That's a good one. Check that out and fill in your hole. And just repeat that for all four of them. We've got golems spawning in all four corners of our farm now. So we're going to leave it for an hour and see how much iron we get. That has been an hour and about two minutes. So let's check how much iron we've got. So inside this bottom chest here, we've wow, we're okay. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten stacks plus some extras and it looks like two and a half stacks of poppies. That's a pretty decent rate for a Minecraft solo survival world and actually it's probably not too bad for a small server either. Let me know in the comments below what you're going to use this for. Now obviously you can decorate this up any way you want. I'd be really interested in pictures. Maybe hit me on Instagram or on Twitter to let me know what you've done with it. And obviously you could turn this into a base. Just make sure you don't have any spawnable blocks less than six blocks below those pods. Otherwise the golems could end up spawning on them instead. And that would make your farm up really quick. That's all for this one and I'll look forward to seeing you in the next one. You take it easy now. Bye!